Here we are. My name is Ape the Grim, representing Epping, New Hampshire. Trapped Jaw Affiliates, Monkey Biz Click. Shout out to the whole team. Bug out, Doug York. DC the Midi Alien. Shout, DJ Myth. Everybody, Joe Murphy, my man Murph. I'm gonna spit the Declaration of Independence, word for word, rap style. Cause I keep pushing the envelope, baby. It's TJA. 603. Within the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve political bands which have connected them to another and to assume among the powers of the earth separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect for the opinions of mankind requires a clear cause which impel them to separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal and they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights and among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yet to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Whenever any form of government becomes destructive at its ends, it is the rights of the people to alter or abolish it and institute a new government, laying its foundations of such principles and organizing its powers as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes and accordingly all experiences have shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed with a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably the same object evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism and it is their right it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future securities such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies such as now the the necessity that constrains them to alter their former systems of government, the history of the present king of Britain, the history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having a direct object, the establishment of absolute tyranny over the states. And to prove this, let the facts be submitted to a candid world. We're just getting started. Ape the Grim, apethegrim.com. He has refused to assent to laws, the most wholesome and necessary for the public good. He has forbidden his governors to pass laws of immediate and oppressing importance unless suspended in their operation until his assent should be obtained and when so suspended he has utterly neglected to attend to them. He has refused to pass other laws for the accommodation of large districts of people unless those people would relinquish the right representation in the legislature, a right inestimable to them, formidable to tyrants only. He has called together legislative bodies at places unusual, uncomfortable, and distant from the depository of their public records for the sole purpose of fatiguing them into compliance with his measures. He has dissolved representative houses repeatedly for imposing with manly firmness his invasions on the rights of the people. He has refused for a long time after such disillusions to cause others to be elected whereby legislative powers incapable of annihilation have returned to the people at large for the exercise. The state remaining in the meantime exposed to all dangers of invasion from without and convulsions within. He has endeavored to prevent the population of these states for that purpose obstructing the laws for naturalization of foreigners and refusing others to encourage migrations hither and raising the conditions of new appropriations of lands. He has obstructing the administration of justice by refusing his assent to laws for establishing judiciary powers. He has made judges dependent on his will alone for tenure of offices and the amount of payment of salaries. He's erected a multitude of new offices and sent hither swarms of offices to harass our people and eat out their substance. He has kept among us in times of peace standing armies without our consent. He has endeavored to render the military independent of and superior to the civil power. He has combined with others to subject us to a jurisdiction foreign to our constitution it acknowledged by our laws giving his assent to their acts of pretended legislation for quartering large bodies of armed troops among us from protecting them by a mock trial for punishment for many murder which they should commit 
on the inhabitants of these states for cutting off our trade from all parts of the world, for imposing taxes on us without our consent, for depriving us in many cases of the benefits of a trial by jury, for transporting us beyond seas to be tried for pretended offenses, for abolishing the free system of English laws in our neighboring province, establishing therein an arbitrary government, enlarging its boundaries so as to render it at once an example and fit instrument for introducing the same absolute rule into the colonies, for taking away our charters and abolishing our most valuable laws and altering fundamentally the forms of our government, for suspending their own legislatures, for declaring themselves invested with the power to legislate for us in all cases whatsoever? He has abdicated government here by declaring us out of his protection and waging war against us. He has plundered our seas, ravaged our coasts, burnt our towns, destroyed the lives of our people. He is at this time transporting large armies of foreign mercenaries to complete the works of death. Desolation and tyranny, already begun with circumstance of cruelty and perfidy. Scarcely paralleled in the most barbarous ages, totally unworthy the head of a civilized nation. He's constrained our fellow citizens taken captive, on the seas to bear arms against their country. To become the executioners of their friends and brethren, or fall themselves by their hands. He's incited domestic insurrections among us, and endeavored to bring all the inhabitants of our frontiers. The merciless Indian savages whose known rule the war fears and undistinguished destruction of all ages, sexes, and conditions. Listen. At every stage of these oppressions, we have petitioned for redress in the most humble terms. Our repeated petitions have been answered only by repeated injury. A prince whose character is thus marked by every act which may define a tyrant is unfit to be ruler of a free people. Nor have we been wanting in attention to our British brethren. We have warned them from time to time the attempts by their legislature to extend unwarrantable jurisdiction over us. We have reminded them of the circumstances of our emigration and settlement here. And we have appealed to their need of justice and magnanimity. And we have conjured them by the ties of our common kindred to disavow these usurpations, which would inevitably interrupt of connections and correspondence. They too have been deaf to the voice of justice and of consanguinity. We must therefore acquiesce in the necessity that denounces our separation and hold them as we hold the rest of mankind. Enemies in war and peace friends, we therefore, the representatives of the United States of America, and General Congress assembled, appealing to the Supreme Judge of the world for rectitude of our intentions due, in the name and by authority, of the good people of these colonies, solemnly published and declared that these united colonies are of right, ought to be free and independent states, that they are absolved from all allegiance to the British Crown, all political connection between them and Great Britain are to be totally dissolved, and that as free and independent states, they have full power to levy war, conclude peace, contract alliances, Establish commerce and do all the other acts and things which independent states may have right to. For the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Declaration of Independence 2017, Ideal 2 coming soon. My name is Ape the Grim, A P E T H E G R I M. Apethegrim.com, y'all. Shout to my man, the Neuromancer. Go get the Idealist. Ape the Grim, the Idealist is out now. Ideal 2 coming soon. Check out Flip the Hat, the video. Peace.